31 year old remembered as someone who had a servant's heart that until he was gunned down earlier this week at his West Baltimore home. That's where WJC is live Stetson Miller with what neighbors have to say. Stetson. Vic and Rick, good evening. Jordan Taylor was the sports director of the Catonsville YMCA. Everybody that WJZ spoke with said he was beloved and children often chanted his name, but he was killed outside these homes where he moved about a year ago. And he'd walk by and they would chant, Coach Jordan, Coach Jordan. Jordan Taylor was somewhat of a celebrity at the Y in Catonsville. We heard that, you know, kids even wanted to be Coach Jordan for Halloween. The 31 year old was the sports and team director at the location where he touched so many lives for the last 10 years. But Tuesday night quickly turned to tragedy. Police say he was shot and killed on the 4800 block of Clifton Avenue. My wife heard noise, gunshots, um, what she thought was firecrackers. A neighbor says his security camera captured three men pacing outside Taylor's home before trying to enter. Two in the back, one in the front attempted to enter their house. Um, and they killed Jordan. On Friday night, investigators were seen coming in and out of Taylor's home. He's one of Baltimore's latest victims in a surge of gun violence that's now become the new norm. Charm City yet again inching closer to another year of 300 homicides. This Catonsville community feeling the tragic effects. We have lost a remarkable human being, a remarkable young man from the Y community and from our greater community. Uh, it's a terrible loss. And police have not released any suspect information at this time. And the Y says they will be organizing a vigil for Taylor in the coming days. Reporting in Franklin Town, Stetson Miller for WJZ.